Hello, this is Rip with IMSI Design. Uh, today I'm going to take a look at curves and polylines and what happens when you extrude them. Um, just to kind of go over what we're dealing with here, we've got a line segment, a spline, which is a curve, and then an arc. Uh, now, if I was going to extrude this, I could either do a compound profile extrude, uh, or join the polyline, or, or join the uh, join it as a polyline and extrude it. Now, when you join it as a polyline, that's where you run into trouble. Uh, so we'll go ahead and sh show you what happens here. So I'm going to choose the join polyline tool, and I want I'm going to go ahead, and right click. I'm going to choose auto joining. I'm just going to click this center graphic, and now it is joined as a polyline. Now, when I extrude it, you'll see what happens that there is some faceting in here. So there's a bunch of faceting and I do not want that. So there's a couple different ways I can get rid of it. Uh, the easiest way, of course, is to just not join it as a polyline in the first place. Uh, I f if I click on if I click on the use compound profile, it automatically selects everything. And there we go, there is no faceting. Go ahead and render it. See, there's no faceting whatsoever in this one. And then you can kind of see it if I zoom in here that there's faceting on the other one. If I go to hidden line, you'll be able to see, see it even more. So now, what can we do if we want to join it as a polyline? and then not have the faceting, or if it had to be joined as a polyline for whatever uh, reason, or got joined somewhere down the line, and now you've got to fix it. Uh, so what we can do is we can, this last one is still made up of a spline, an arc, and a line segment. I'll go ahead and use the Join Polyline tool. Again, select Auto Joining. Now it is a polyline. Now what we can do is, we can select it, go to Modify, then Convert to Curve. You can enter in Tolerance, and you can keep line segments that are larger than a certain area, a certain length. And we'll go ahead and hit OK. And so now this whole thing is now a curve. And if I extrude it, it is still faceted. So I want to undo, undo convert to curve. I'm going to do modify, convert to curve. I'm not going to check this keep line segment. Now it is a Bezier. And it is no longer faceted. It just, it's pretty much exactly like the uh, line that we did not join in a join at all. So if you need to get, if you're extruding something and it's becoming faceted, it is most likely because you've joined a curve as part of a polyline. And you can either not do that in the first place or uh, use the convert to curve tool. All right, that's about it today. Thanks for listening and please subscribe to our channel for more great videos. Bye-bye.